You know, I told myself, if I get Emily in 20 pulls, I'll accept it. I saw a potential considering Netland was coming out, so I did it. Turned out, I actually won my 50-50 and got her in those 20 pulls. So, here I am, making a review on her. First, let me explain her kit as simply as possible. Basically, Emily works with the Bernie reaction. When you use a skill, she will summon her lantern and fire Dendro Puffs. If there is the Bernie reaction, she will gain sense and level up her lantern to a stronger version after gaining 2 cents. The stronger lantern will then deal more Dendro damage. What's more, at this stronger level 2 lantern, every 2 cents gained will allow Emily to deal huge Dendro damage. As for ultimate, basically, it will become the strongest level 3 lantern, fire more puffs quicker, and deal more damage overall. Also, for every 1000 attack that Emily has, she'll gain a 15% damage boost, up 36%, meaning that she needs around 3,000 attack for max damage. Let's get her weapons and artifacts out of the way first. You can use the free Missive Wind Spear for the EM and attack boost, or the Favonius Spear for the energy recharge, or go for the Primordial Jade Spear for the crit rate. For artifacts, the new burning set with attack sense, dendro damage goblet, and crit circlet will work the best for her. As for teams, I tried testing as many variations as possible, but these are the ones that I like the most. Firstly, the team of Emily, Xiangling, Purina, and Bennett. Bennett and Xiangling applies Pyro, Purina buffs damage and also vapes some of the Pyro. Emily then triggers burning with her kit. This team works pretty well and is quite fun with the buffing, though sometimes Purina will end up vaping too much and make it hard to trigger the burning reaction. <laughs> Number 2, Burning Melt has been a thing since Sumeru came out. This is where Pyro is kept on the enemy continually with a burning reaction while Melt is being triggered. I'm using the team of Ganyu, Emily, Xiangling and Bennett to do this. It's honestly pretty fun and allows for Ganyu to deal quite a bit of Melt damage. The only issue here is that Ganyu is honestly better further away from the enemy due to a squishy nature. Ryosli should work better, but I unfortunately didn't get him. The third team is one that I think works the most comfortably. Emily, Alekino, Paitsu, and Bennett. Emily applies Pyro, Paitsu heals and provides shielding. Bennett buffs Alekino's attack while she deals her usual crazy damage. I personally really like this team for its sustainability and the ability to constantly apply Pyro while keeping the burning reaction up is really really fun. That said, I still do think that Alakino is better with her usual vaporized team. For the final team, is one with Nahida, Emily, Kazuha and Bennett. This team focuses mainly on Emily's damage. Both Nahida and Emily apply Dendro, Bennett applies Pyro, and Kazuha helps to keep this Pyro up by swirling and also increasing that damage. This team also works well with the only danger being that everyone honestly takes significant burning damage if not careful. So, all in all, what do I think of Emily? Honestly, I think that she's really fun to play with and unlocks the long forgotten burning reaction. That said, you'll also find that none of the teams are honestly the best for her yet. I believe, which is why I put for her, that she is the first piece of the puzzle for the burning team. I think that she will only get stronger, similar to all the characters in the past released ahead of their time. Kazuha, Kuki Shinobu, Kokomi, to just name a few. They also got better with time. What's more, there has to be a reason why Hoyoverse decided to release her now just before Netland comes out. However, right now, I believe that the main issue 
is that there isn't really a long range sub pyro DPS like how Ye Lan and Furina are for Hydro and how Raiden's skill is for Electro. It is very likely that the Pyro Archon could be that missing link and have that sub DPS elemental skill similar to Furina, Raiden and Nahida if the trend stays the same. And you know, maybe finally we can get rid of Xiang Ling on our team. To summarize, you may not want to pull for Emily right now, given that her kit is kinda premature. But when she does get the right teammates in Netland hopefully, be sure to come back and get her. But not to worry, I'll be here to inform all of you about her better team when she does get it in the future. If you'd like to see which standard banner character is the most worth it to build, please click the video on the right. If you would like to see other Genshin Impact videos that I've made, please click the playlist on the left. Once again, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!